today's walkthrough, I just want to talk through the benefits or not benefits of moving to 7.1 with your 7.0 site. So Squarespace launched this last year in 2019, 7.1. And the big question is, do I move everything that I've built on 7.0 to 7.1? Because one, there is no seamless way to do this. There is no way to say, hey, I want this site completely transferred. You have to do it manually. You have to do it page by page, build a new site, bring over all your content, and then you can start a new, you have to cancel the subscription on the old one and then start a new subscription and move the domain. So it's a really tedious process with some pros and cons, but I just wanted to talk through a couple of those. So the first the first thing is, is that you can build it on your own time. So you don't have to take down your old site to build a new site. So that's where you would start in the process. You would build a new site, start bringing everything over. And when you're ready to go live, that's when you bring your domain over. Now, another question is SEO. Is your SEO going to be affected? So it will, because all of the work that you built up in your blogs and your keywords and everything on your original site, you're going to take a temporary hit. But once you put that all on the new site, you should start to start the process of building it back up again. So you're going to take a hit, but there is a way to build it up. I mean, you know that Squarespace works hard for you in the SEO if you do the right things and put the right pieces into play. So over time, you will boost those results back up. To start, I mean, you could take your blogs, you can export them. There's a way to export your blogs into a WordPress file, but then re upload them into the new Squarespace site. So that's one pro is that you won't have to copy and paste every single blog article, especially if you have a really robust blog. The next the next portion would be your products. If you have a shop, you can export those into an, a CSV file and then import those again, which is good. And then as far as all the other content on your site, you're gonna have to re-upload images, re-upload text, Um, that will probably be the most tedious part of the whole thing. And then you would just cancel your old site, but your old site will remain. So in the past Squarespace, if you didn't have a subscription, you would lose all that info. That is not the case anymore. You will continue to keep all of that info on your old site. If you changed your mind, if you wanted to go back and pull more information, or if you accidentally deleted it from the new site and needed to grab it back again from the old site. So some of the changes that... You may or may not know whether you've dabbled in 7.0 or not yet. If I go to my website, for example, you'll notice that the editing is completely different. Now, in the past with certain templates, you would have to pick a template and stick to the confines of the template. So whether the navigation was a certain way or the blogs looked a certain way, or if it allowed for a folder in your navigation, Now, templates are kind of inert. You can start with the template and build in your content within the template and kind of use it as a guide, but you can customize every template the same. So if you wanted a certain heading area in one template, it would reflect across all the other templates. So you don't have to be married to a certain template when you pick it and be worried that the style is going to have to stay the same on that template because that's not the case, like in 7.0. So you have complete design freedom, which I find design a lot easier. So I've done a lot of teaching sessions now with a lot of projects of people that wanted to move from 7.0 to 7.1, and everyone is super excited about it because when you go to edit, you're editing these different content blocks here individually. So you can change the height, which is the padding, the width, of the content, where the content aligns. You can now do backgrounds wherever you want. So these full full backgrounds, um, before you had to create an index and create multiple pages, now it's just on one page. And then you can create new content blocks wherever you want to in the site. So for creative freedom, I love it because it allows me to customize pages better and get more creative, um, especially with colors too. So you have a lot more color choices that you can use. And um, one other thing that's really neat is you have more heading options, more paragraph options, which is cool. And you can customize the color of each heading or each paragraph within each color block too. So when you come over here to colors, and if I wanted to edit it, I can get really, really technical and edit 
within, so this is called white minimal here, I could change each heading a different color. I can change links, I can change everything. I don't have to stick to one color. So that, that part is super exciting. I just realized that I changed my live site and now I don't remember which one I had. That's not good. So that's the editing is completely different. I find it a lot more user friendly and I like it a lot better. But it's the same block, same content blocks, same, same types of pages for the most part with more templates. If you go to create a new page, you'll find that there are whoops, more template options to start with. I mean, it just makes the building process so much easier and you're just popping information in. Remember, oh, that's new. Member areas is now in there. And I mean, you just have so many more options, which is really, really awesome for the end user when you don't want to spend all your time as a web designer like me. <laughs> um, the analytics are the same. Blogs are the same. How to update and edit your blog and shop and events are different. So that's, but I would say that's a pro. Um, and then you can customize your header and footer a little bit more than you could with 7.0, which is nice. You can go right in and just edit down here and you can, you're not confined to having your navigation just be a row across the top in a certain template. You can put it wherever you want. So the cons really quickly, you lose your analytics. You can't just change a template. So if you start with the template and you're like, eh, I want to go to a different template and have it reformat your entire site, you can't do that. Um, there are no cover pages, so that's unfortunate. You don't have that option to have that landing page with no navigation. You would need a little bit of code to remove the navigation to make it look like a cover page. And then um, I would say that those are the three biggest cons. Well, maybe a fourth one would be having to manually move your information over. But I did it. Um, I've done it for a lot of clients now. It is, I, I just like the way my website looks better. I feel like I had better creative freedom to accomplish what I need to. Um, and just, it was worth the time and the effort to move it over. And I would say every client that I've worked with has said it has been worth the money and the time to move it over. So I recommend it. Um, it, it doesn't necessarily make your site any faster. I've confirmed that with Squarespace support. It doesn't change, yeah, site speed or anything. I would say that mobile looks a little bit better it's more intuitive for the mobile version. Um, and you only get mobile and desktop. They don't show you tablet view anymore. But that is, in a nutshell, I guess I would be pro move to 7.1 if you would ask my opinion. <laughs>